hey guys welcome back to my channel it's model whitney and today i'm going to teach you how to make an avocado mask that is for dry skin so if you're interested in learning how to make this mask stay tuned so this mask is so simple to make all you need is two ingredients avocado and honey the reason why you need to do an avocado mask is because it helps to moisturize the skin heal acne it helps reduce inflammation and because your man is tired of your face being dry, but he just don't want to tell you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but all you need is half an avocado and two tablespoons of honey. When I did this mask, my face felt so good. It was, it was almost like it was like a cooling sensation. And it was so fun to do. Something about a green mask just does it for me. I actually feel like I'm really taking care of myself and taking care of my skin. And just because I told you the ingredients to the mask, don't exit the video, girl, because I do have some important stuff that you want to know once I go to applying the mask. So let me just go ahead and answer a few questions that you probably will have. You, can, you do not have to throw the mask away. You can store it in your fridge for about four to five days. And just because the mask is turning brown, that does not indicate that it is old. It's just because air has hit the avocado. And it's the same thing when an apple is exposed to air. So don't be scared, girl, just because the mask is turning brown, it's still cool. You could just scrape a thin layer off the top with a spoon and it'll be just fine. Also, it doesn't matter which honey you use. I'm not really particular about honey, but if you do have a honey recommendation for me that you absolutely love, please put it in the comment section. Now we're going to go to applying the mask. Make sure that you wash your face with the cleanser before applying the mask. I will put in the description box the cleanser that I use. Now, you are leaving this mask on for 20 minutes, but halfway through, I applied another layer of the mask just to get the full benefits. I want all that moisture. I need all that moisture. Now, when I am waiting for my mask to dry, I do just clean up the mess that I made while I was making the mask. And you need to do that too because I know your man is tired of you not cleaning up too. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, I can't stop playing. Once the mask has dried for 20 minutes, you want to take a napkin or a paper towel. I recommend a paper towel. I just didn't have them in my house. But you can just wipe it off with paper towel and then you can just rinse it with warm water. Don't go back in with the cleanser after you rinse the mask off because it's not necessary. Another question you may have is how often to do it. While you can do this mask every day, I would just say do it whenever your skin is feeling especially dry because you don't want to overdo it. And sometimes all that stuff just say necessary. And now once I rinse the mask off, I'm gonna add a little witch haze. It was kind of like one of my rituals to just apply witch hazel once I done with the face mask. And then I just want to show you guys how the mask looked after one day. And like I already said, just because it's brown does not mean it's old or you cannot use it. You can use it up to four or five times. And now I'm just going to apply my Pond's moisturizer. Um, this moisturizer is the best, like I always say in all of my skincare videos. I just want to lock in that moisturizer. Just want to get all the moisturizer that I can get so my skin can be flawless for the winter. And this is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that you try this mask because it is so soothing, hydrating, and it really did help my skin. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.